the win. What did you make of it? I think we deserve. I think we were the best team. But I, I knew, and and the players they knew before the game at half time, that um, this team is really dangerous on on set pieces. Uh, I think Tony is an expert on on that. These teams are very strong. Uh, Physically, they are very powerful in set pieces, and uh, we knew that at any time they could create us that that problem. But um, I think we control the game for a long, 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 long time, and then, uh, of course, uh, Alan reacts. Alan made uh, a few changes. He tried to give uh, the team uh, more width, more quality. Uh, the second striker. In the middle, and we had uh, a few chances to um, a few chances to kill the game. But when we don't kill the game, I knew that they would um, they would react. So when they scored the goal, that's that's normal. Alan put everything and and tried and tried. Um, but I think we deserve the victory overall. Do you think, in some ways, you were perhaps so comfortable with your 2-0 lead at halftime that your players' concentrations level dropped? Uh, honestly, I don't think so. Probably a little bit of of less ambition, uh, probably that intensity that we had in our um, building up in the first half, uh, we didn't have in, in the second half, probably we lost a little bit of ambition, but I don't think concentration, I just think uh, they are really powerful in, in the air, they have, they have giants, they have aggressive people, even the goalkeeper with the ball uh, in his hands is, is kicked. Um, we, we knew that the good thing was that after the after that goal, we controlled the game again. We we brought the ball to the opposition to the opposition half, um, and they didn't had they didn't had much more after that. I'm sure you're pleased to see Romelu Lukaku score again. Any idea why he didn't celebrate? I didn't celebrate too, and uh, nobody was happier than than me. It's just a question of of profile, you know. You didn't look very happy. No, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the victory, you know. But uh, 15 years ago, I look, I look myself celebrating goals, and sometimes now I feel a bit ashamed of, with that. But with maturity, I think you go, you go into um, into levels where you you control your emotions better. Unless I repeat, you score a, a winning goal in in the last stage of of the game. But basically, I think also Romelo had the fact that he was. A happy kid uh, at West Bromwich Albion. He was a, a kid that was giving all the conditions here to 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 have the evolution he had. So probably also in the back of his mind is that is that love for the for the club. One negative: the injury to Antonio Valencia. How bad? You know that's 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 football, especially football in England, special in December. You know, it's normal. The players they get into into fatigue levels that um, they are not machines and sometimes sometimes it happened. He knew that he was not going to play uh, the next game against um, against Bristol. He knew that. Um, he was asked for this last effort before before that break. But he couldn't he couldn't resist. But we have we have um, other players and uh, today Blind and Damian they were not even on uh, on the bench. We have players, we trust players and we are humble people to cope with, with these difficulties.